Oh, I got done eating, honestly. But anyways, I just got done looking at this this kind of thing that, well, not on a news for but I did just got word that, well, I'm surprised I'm not, I'm late. I just got word that they want to ban Donald Trump from Twitter. Whenever I heard this, I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck do you guys think you guys are doing? Apparently, people gotten triggered because of Donald Trump saying that about people burning the American flag, that they should be going, that they should go to jail. And my response is, yeah, they should. Hundreds of people died protecting the country. Protecting and serving the country, and that flag is a representative a symbol of that and they want to burn the American flag that's kind of like they're pissing on the United States itself and in my opinion if you don't want to be American citizen then go ahead go do like the, the a lot of people who actually moved to Canada do like they did and leave, leave the country pretty much they don't like the wild card they want to feel safe they want to feel secure and they don't know if they can feel that way with Donald Trump. In my opinion, I wouldn't feel that way with Hillary Clinton, considering that she wanted to bring a large amount of beef of Muslim refugees here. Truth be told, that'll be just like what what Germany was going through. But they want to ban Donald Trump from Twitter. Two things are gonna happen if they do. One, people will sign a petition to stop the ban and let him be let him be on Twitter anyways. Or people are just gonna leave Twitter. And trust me, at that point, the SJW, the feminists, and the Black Lives Matter member members can easily just have it. And guess what's gonna happen? Twitter will go bankrupt and then another company will buy it. And odds are he probably comes back on it anyways. But if they end up banning them, if they don't have a petition, I'm gonna wait a month. I'm gonna wait one month to see what happens. And if they don't bring him back on, I'm going to be gone too. Even though I don't even use Twitter too often anyways, because truth be told, when it comes to Twitter, it's pretty much just texting. And I don't even text. I don't really care about texting. But, yeah, these people would be triggered by what Donald Trump said. I'm thinking to myself, you guys must be the biggest weaklings in all the world. You want somebody to coddle you. You want somebody to feel sorry for you, saying that, oh, I'm so triggered by the election, because you think they want... People who say this kind of stuff, I'm thinking to myself, you want to, bl you want to blame everybody else. You want to blame white supremacists. You want to blame everybody about Donald Trump winning. I'm going to tell you right now. You guys got misinformed by the media that Donald Trump was going to lose. He was saying he didn't really have that big of a chance of winning because sitting down in the second debate, he really lost a lot of points. And a lot of the things that the media kept saying is like they want to keep all this bullshit going because all these petitions, all these protests, and oh, Donald Trump is not our president. I'm like, if he's not your president, then go right ahead. The truth we talk, I've been hearing this a lot since uh, oh, not my president, not my president. Like, all right, then, then go to Africa. We'll see how fast your ass want to come back to America then. Go to Mexico. Go to Germany, go to Russia, go to Asia, go to any country that is not the USA. Because we don't really care anymore. It's kind of like Twitter is trying to make itself popular. And it's like they say, the First Amendment, yeah. He, Donald Trump just said something that Hillary brought up in 2005 about burning the American flag that you receive one year jail time or a thousand dollar fine these kids just want to burn the American flag so they get noticed and the one thing about these people who are in this protest 70% of them didn't even vote that's sad I mean I have seen a lot of people who didn't vote who when the election results came out they like huh eh. So Donald Trump won. Mm, all politicians are liars anyway, but in our eyes, Donald Trump is not really a politician. That's what I like about it. But when I hear a lot of people wanting to ban this guy just for one tweet, and it's not even 
remotely triggering whatsoever. It's just a bunch of people want to have a hissy fit because of what he said about human these kids want to burn the American flag. He is not threatening you. He is not triggering you. You decided to be triggered. And if you are triggered, grow the fuck up. This is the real world. You're just mad because we don't have a woman president. And I don't mind having a woman president. I just don't want to be her. Because Bernie Sanders should have been up there. If it was Bernie Sanders who was up there, we probably would have had a different result. No, Bernie Sanders would probably have been president. Donald Trump would have respected Bernie Sanders being up there than Hillary Clinton. Because at that point, at least Donald Trump probably had more of a fight. But when it came to Hillary Clinton, no. It's not working. But anyways, that's all I gotta say. Like or subscribe or comment below. You can like me on you can follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook. And that's all I gotta say for right now. So I'll see you guys another time. Peace out.